After our first round of eliminations, I've got 16 of the most gorgeous women in the world left. Now I need to know each one of these girls on a more intimate level. But first, I just needed to get to the gym. So do you not drink very often? I do, but I'm still, like, I'm just a lightweight. Has anybody seen Tiffany yet? <laughs> All I saw from Tiffany last night was sloppy drunk, and she really didn't do a great job at setting a good impression of herself. Your first day here, don't go absolutely crazy like that. The fact that Tiffany's still in the house, you know, it makes me raise an eyebrow. She's a mess, and I know she's not going to be here for very long. I think I uh, took a little too extreme first night, so today I think I'm going to be a little more low key and see what goes on in the house. My ex boyfriend made me a scrapbook. The first picture we ever took, the first day we ever met, until like our very last picture. Really? It documented everything. My ex fiance. You're engaged? Yeah. Really? What? Yes, I was supposed to be getting married this May. Oh, no. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So I hear Erin talking about some fiance that she's had and this and that, and I'm like, what the hell? I am so determined to get Erin's phony ass out of here with his big old stupid circus boobs. What happened? Um, it just didn't work out. It was kind of like, well, he, he told me he wasn't in love with me anymore. And, um, mm -mm. yep. I need another one. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have like an unofficial no drinking during the daytime rule. I don't drink during the day. Drinking is a nighttime thing. You know, this is a different scenario. We don't have to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and go to work the next day, so why not? Let's experiment. <laughs> hey, you bitches, get in here. Let's go. Let's get it. Get... Cheers. Cheers. That's what it's called. Sex, Sex on the L. Sex, Sex on, on the L. Sex on the L. Good. You're going to date a rock star, you got to party like a rock star. <laughs> We formed our little band, we rocked it out. I just start the party, get it going. All the girls start to sweat. He looks at me. I want In the middle of working out, I heard some music coming from the house, and God, it sounded, it sounded bad. I thought to myself, self, I better go in here and show them how it's done. You're doing good. Well, I'm gonna, do you want me to lay down some heavy guitar? So I tuned up the guitars and proceeded to play as badly as they were. Brett's playing music and everything, and everybody's on the poles, and I don't associate myself with people like that. Yeah, it was just ill, gross. All right. Don't forget to take your waitresses and uh, <laughs> Takes a break and we all move the bar. Get up here, baby! Everybody's partying. We're all having a good time. It's crazy. Oh. Who does this belong to? <laughs> really? The um, hyenas, they're just compromising all of his time. And then girls like me, who are, I'm not gonna sit there and be slutty and put myself out there and fight for his attention. Take your top off and get a miss in that one. The party was getting out of control, and too many of those can lead to a horrific things in your life. But let's be honest, I'm only human, damn it. I think that the house turned into one of those horrible strip clubs that you find by the airport that are full of, like, fat chicks with huge fake implants. Oh, wow. oh. I am not getting naked from a fucking as national much as TV. I, as much yeah. as I like Brett, yeah. I mean... Hey, when do we get to be alone with him, though? That's a good question. When you take your you pants make... off. Yeah. No, that's not true. I don't believe that. I don't yeah. believe it either. No. Exactly. Yeah. I noticed there is a split. There is like more of like the slutty, outgoing girls. Very sweet, more bitchy, introverted girls. You know, not as whorish. Same fucking thing. They're the same fucking replica of the next girl, the next girl, the next girl. They're all, the... yeah. I'm as guilty as they are. We are all guilty amongst our flesh. But I have a surprise plan for him, so I'm gonna bail out now. I'm gonna get ready and drop a little bomb on him. All right, y'all, see you in a few. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hello. Oh, my God. I never hang out with the three of you. Yeah, so. no shit, right? Let's get to know each other. <laughs> Tell me all about yourself. What's your favorite color? <laughs> oh, that's very that's nice. nice. <laughs>
Have you, do you drink? No. Yeah. <laughs> have you had drinks? <laughs> Today? Like, yeah. Yeah, I had a beer. You, a beer? Oh. I need more than a beer. I went outside and I actually made a point to be nice to some of the other girls and Jess and talk to her and she just kind of blew me off. <laughs> Let's get to know each other. <laughs> no. Go. <laughs> Lacey made a pathetic, pathetic attempt to come outside and get to know me. I don't want anything to do with her or her annoying bimbo posse inside. You know what I'm noticing? This is like group A and that's group B. And I went outside and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to hang with the girls I don't know at all. Because there's, there's like two or three girls out there that I don't really have a feel yeah. for yet. And I was trying to get a feel for them, but Dark it chocolate. didn't work. So I came back to you guys. <laughs> Magdalena, Jess, Mia, and the other girls, you know, they're just a bunch of bitches. They're no fun. They've got sticks up their asses. You know why? Because you're not one of the party girls. That's right. I know. I am ready to take some bitches out. Can you imagine we're just like, and we just like run and like you grab one shoulder, I grab the other, and we just like dive in and you get a shoulder, I get a shoulder, like how awesome would that be? That'd be really funny. Lazy and I decided, you know what, we're bored. She was asking me who I thought that she should throw in the pool. So you're the big muscle. You know, Jess, she just sits around with this I'm better than you attitude, and you know, she deserves to have that smirk washed right off her face. We saw every day, every day. I got to you got my glasses. Right. You got my back, babe. I'm fucking. You don't. Oh, oh, no. oh, my God. No. no. Oh, you just oh, fucking oh, pissed oh, off at me. Oh. Get the fuck out of my face, and I'm being dead serious. Oh, Walk the fuck away from me now. Walk away. Lacey comes, pushes my ass in the pool, and I'm fucking pissed. Walk the fuck away from me now. Walk away. It's fine, lighten up. Get the fuck out of my face, and I'm being dead serious. All I did was push her in the pool. It's not like I, you know, set her clothes on fire or anything yet. <laughs> I walk through to go take a shower, and they're all mocking me. Why'd you get me wet? Oh, my God, don't get me wet. You fucking cut. Clearly, I need to be careful of this chick, but she just better stay the fuck away from me. I'm wet. Got a little something here from Brett. Make sure you guys read it. And I uh, will see you in a little bit. Thank you. Bye, John. Okay, so I'll see you. Oh, it's a song, you guys. Now it's time for you to get dressed and find out which gives phone the best. When I'm on the road, when I'm on tour, I'm away from my baby and it's a bore. I need a love who can get on the phone, get me hot, and give me a good time. The three of you who light my flame will win the first date of this here game. So be creative and make me hot, because tomorrow some will stay and some will not. Uh, oh ready. So if Brett likes to party and have phone sex, I think it's somebody on the varsity squad he's looking for. Do I inspire you? All right, first, we need a drink to be more creative. That's how I feel. This makes me extremely nervous. I wonder if I should, like, wing it or if I should wear lingerie lingerie. Never had phone sex before, so I don't know how the hell I'm going to handle this. Doom, doom. Maybe I need a glass of wine. Or two. So I had one white and one red. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot. A couple, two, three things. Don't throw me with a good time. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies, come on up. So we're all ready in our sexy lingerie, and Big John calls us down, and uh, I'm ready. Bring it. Hello, ladies. Everyone seated. Everyone's sitting down. We're going to talk about talking dirty to me. I spend a lot of time out on the road, and in order to have a significant other and make it work, you have to have a great back and forth on the phone. We're not going to be able to see each other, so you're going to have to use your imagination. So just give me everything you got. The three girls that talk to me the most imaginative, those are the three that are going to go on a date tomorrow. I'm going to turn this over to the, the good doctor. Okay, ladies, this is the plethysmograph. <laughs> We're going to use this device. It will measure the blood flow of the cavernassal artery. <laughs> Here's how the challenge works. I am hooked up to what is called the plethysmograph, this thing that actually measures blood flow. I won't be able to tell exactly who I'm talking to, but that's what made this great. All right, ladies, here's what we're going to do. We'll put these numbers in this hat. 
You pick one, that's the order you go in. Dr. Roy, you getting a good reading over there? Ah, uh, strong like bull. All right, I'm calling the first girl. I had a dream about us. Well, tell me about it. We were kind of having a picnic, and there was some food. The food was all around us, and then it was on me, and then you started eating it off of me. This is a win-win for me as a diabetic because I could keep my blood sugar levels perfect. I'm going to make this short and sweet because I know you got a lot of hoochies to delete. I'm not going to be a whore. I'm just going to adore. I'm going to growl like a tiger. There was some girls, they knew exactly how to handle that phone. Hello, Mr. Michaels. Just go. From right there, just go. I was uh, hanging out by the pool all day, and I'm a little tan. Um, I'm on the road. We're all alone. I want to be there. I want to be there because that just sounds like a really fun time. This girl, to me, was really odd. I feel so special. OK. If you got something there, it was purely by accident. I jumped the cord or something. Next. Oh my god, Mag Neanderthal. She's so tall. We call her Mag Neanderthal because she's an Amazon. She's way taller than Brett. They can't go together. It's just too weird. Hi, baby. OK, I wrote a little song for you. <clears throat> Once I received the phone call from L.A., I knew that God finally heard my prayer. I'm gonna see you, my little red day. What is this, 1-900-DRAG queen? And I'm so sure I can make you sweat day. That was not good. What do you think about English women? English women are hot. How would you like that? I could be a dirty nanny. I think that would be really, really hot. Thank you. Jot that down. When you're not here with me, it's like the wind has been removed from my sail. <laughs> I'm losing strength. I would treat you like a king. I like being a king. Number 12, to me, was, was pure poetry. I like poetry and dragons flying around towers. Hello. You take me to it. Um, was it before or after we were playing Ring Around the Bed Post? You tell me. Watching Tiffany is hilarious because she's, again, a drunk. What was that before or after you're giving me boxing lessons? Because I love that. Number 14 was a blubbering mess. I don't know if it was too much booze all day. And what's that going on? You got to give me this fantasy. You're thinking about it. You're going to give me. You are my fantasy. Get me hot. That's what I'm trying to do. Is it working yet? Come on. I'm on the road here. You got to talk to me. Really? Don't threaten me with a good time. 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 <laughs> Tiffany, obviously. Hello? Right now, we're actually outside. Tell me more. What do you want to hear? I want to hear something good. <laughs> Why don't I call you back? Brett, I want you so bad. I want to press you against me. Oh, I'm so into it. I want to kiss you. I want you to fuck me. I'm like, oh my god, what is going on right now? She's really getting into it. That was good stuff right there. I think I did pretty well, and I hope so, because I really want this date. Hello, girls. <laughs> I have some great news, and I have some really bad news, all right? Hello, girls. I have some great news, and I have some really bad news, all right? The Brett comes out, and he's like, there's good news, and there's bad news. And I'm thinking, oh, shit, maybe I don't give good phones. Let's go with the bad news. Who's girl 14? Oh, baby. This could possibly be strike number three. Brett's going to be eliminated tonight, not me. Girl 15. Look at that. It flatlined. Grandma's apple pie got me hornier. I got on the phone and I froze up. I could, it was just awkward. I couldn't do it. Girl number eight, who was number eight? It just went bad. We just never got going. I was not as sexy as maybe I could have been. And I think he was really turned off by that. I'm hoping that I won't be eliminated. Now for the good news. Girl number 10. You peaked me right here, but that English thing, I'm like, ba bang. Aaron has fiance. This sucks. She so does not deserve this date. I have to get her out of Brett's house. <laughs> Who is girl number 16? 
That bad boy went up and stayed up. It never came back down. All right, now this one. Number 12. She rocked the house. I'll take it, baby. I knew I was going to win this. I just knew I was going to. And I'm so excited that I get to go on a date with Brett now. The only thing that sucks is I'm finding out that I have to share my date with Aaron and Rodeo. I need to go take a really cold shower. And I will see you all on a date tomorrow, all right? Good night, everybody. You have a great night. I'm so pissed that Erin gets to go out on a date. Why is she even in this house? Her boobs, they're circus tits. They're not, they don't even move. You can't play with those. You know what? I want to kick it. Oh, Erin. You want to kick who? All I'm saying is I'm jealous. Um, is that so hard? You said you wanted to kick me. <laughs> I meant kiss. You're still so fucking stupid. And I was giving you a compliment. Lady, I'm stupid. With. Honey, take a look in the mirror. I hey, oh my god, you're so fucking stupid. Brandy was starting the fight because she was jealous that I won the date, and she probably thought because she is such a slut that she would definitely win this challenge. You know what? I'm beautiful, and you can't stand it. You are beautiful in the meth world, for sure you are. Yeah, that sucks for you. Her nickname is Trailer Park. Hooker. You know dumb. what? You want to call me a hooker? Look at your fucking tits, dude. Your shit is nasty. You have clown titties. It hurts coming from someone of a very lower intelligence, oh, such yeah, as yourself. I'm... I want to look at your little meth scratched face any longer. Oh, that's right. You know what? Meth scratched. Okay, Actually, I got in a car accident. That's funny. I got in a car wreck. This is not fair. <laughs> Aaron makes a low blow, which I think is really harsh. I would never make one than somebody who had a no, but they don't. If you don't know where somebody's scars are coming from, you should be saying things like that. <laughs> and I feel really bad for her. I don't want to see her like that. She's my best friend. It's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I can't wait to see there because my dog chewed this. You need to kill your dog, dude. What's that for? I love my dog. Kill all pets. What? Animals. I only wear animals and eat them. I'm really passionate about PETA. And I realize what a heartless, hateful bitch she is. <laughs> Do you not have pets? I used to have a rabbit, and I have many rabbit skin coats, so I enjoy That's rabbits. That's horrible. I really do. You have rabbit fur rabbit. coats? Dallas provokes me. She talks about harming animals. I eat meat. I wear fur. One positive, though, about this is that now this gives me another opportunity to continue picking off these girls one by one until they're all gone. How can you be a good person, person and condone cruelty to animals? Well, sorry, there's an animal right here, right now. I would still just burp. I can't sleep in the same exactly. room as you. Exactly. I can't sleep in the same well, room with you. you. That's disgusting. Start. Lacey will not stop talking. She causes trouble. I need to go fucking chill away from this fucking skank bag hoe. <laughs> I have to clean up my stuff and we gotta get upstairs. You're good, you're good, you know you got it. So I know I can't be in the same room as Aaron anymore, so I'm packing my bags and I'm moving out, I'm moving up. Hey, the animal hater left you, it means you can move into our room. She Sad. made fun of the fact that I was in my car accident. Don't give her that power. Well, you're gorgeous. Wrong with you? Some what's fucking wrong? girl made fun of my car accident. Aaron. Ooh! It's a girl, Aaron. That pissed me off, because Brandy sees one of my girls. I'm not having it. Especially since she's still in love with her ex-boyfriend. What are you doing here? Shit's gonna hit the fan and she will be sorry. Ladies, come on in. Brett needs to hear about this, and I'm really upset. He is the only person right now that can console me and make me feel better. There's a girl that I really hate right now. Oh. She just recently hurt me. Her name's Erin. I was in a car accident last June, right? Right. And I had 47 to stitches to my face. Was she making fun of your face? She looked at my face and she said something really bad. And it You're made fucking me cry. kidding me, right? No. Pretty shocking to me that Aaron would say something like that to Brandy C. I know under those humongous double D's there was a heart of gold in there somewhere. There had to be. Like this is like a disability to me. Like well, she it's something that I can't help. If I was in a wheelchair, would you make fun of me for it? When she spoke in that little titmouse voice. It just turned me on beyond any belief. If I was in a wheelchair, would you make fun of me for it? Brandy C being upset really kind of upset me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. She is just, that is really uncool. I'm sorry, to and I'm sorry to ruin your date for tomorrow, but so relieved and happy that I got to talk to Brett. I don't think it's fair what she did to me, and I know that Brett knows that it wasn't cool, so Aaron needs to go home. Good night. Hello, ladies. Hi. It's that time again. I got a note here from Brett. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, my sweet ladies. For the three girls who made me quiver, let's spend some time alone. The rest of you who didn't deliver, you have to stay at home. 
Get ready for tonight, my girls. You know the stakes are high. Four of you will pack your bags and have to say goodbye. Rodeo, Lacey, and I won the date. And I think I just kind of want to show him a little bit and get him to want more. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Oh, so excited. Bye-bye. The girls leave for their date with Brett, and I'm just thinking, Aaron, you better enjoy it while you can, because you'll be out of here soon, bro. All right, follow me. Lacey and Rodeo and Aaron, I'm taken to Jim Henson Studios. This is one of the few places left on earth that all musicians love to go to to record. Don, Donimus Mosten wasn't a... How are you doing? Don was, to me, is one of the greatest producers ever. He's under Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan, I mean, you name it, Don has been a part of it. But here's what we're going to do in here to make this so cool. Very and good. let us pull the song up and just play it for you. You know how we do it? Just play it and let me... Yeah, just let Oh, I can't wait. Crank it up. This is a real recording, so when we're done, we're burning you all a track. All right, here's what I'm thinking. We want to lay down three tracks. I had a challenge for the girls, and I needed to complete this song. And I needed to kick it up a notch. I would love to start Lacey with you. Okay. So Brett tells us that he wants us to contribute to his track, and I'm really excited. All right. I am super comfortable in this situation. This is exactly my element. This is right up my alley, and I am so thrilled to be a part of Brett's music. We got the cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Nice. Oh, I love that. No, do the octave above, because that's okay. really cool. I'm a musician, and so right off the bat, we have that in common. I think that that's going to make me stand out, definitely. We got hot, cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Oh, I love it. Mm, that was good. Kiss. Yeah, it's feeling good. It was fun. The fact that he realized that I'm a true musician, I know what I'm doing in the studio, I think that really helped to bring us closer together. I think that's really where our bond started. Rodeo, are you ready to give it to me, baby? <laughs> I mean, musically speaking. <laughs> All right. I was ready to go. I was ready to rock that man's world. So she's going to sing now. Let's do it. Let's do oh, it. Oh, God. I was so excited when he asked me to sing with him. It was a dream come true. Do you remember? All the things we used to do. It's almost like we were in tune together. Aww. 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 Come on. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Doc. <laughs> I think we got some stuff. Oh, my God. Did I get aroused? <laughs> Baby, that was good. <laughs> okay. There. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I see what you're getting to. I'm turned on. I could actually have an orgasm if I had to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me and you have a good time. <laughs> we got good. We got good on a lot of levels. As far as rodeo goes. I just didn't see that that passion, that connection there. I know that she's really into him, but I, I just don't see her as a threat at all. <laughs> you gotta sing. I can. Me? Yes. No, I fucking suck. Do you, have you been in the studio never. before? Never. Never been in the studio never. before. Erin made it very clear that she was not musically inclined. She had never been in a studio, and so there was a turn on in the fact that she hadn't done this before, and I was kind of de-virginizing her uh, in the studio experience. What are we doing? We're gonna sing. So sing in the screen. Okay. You're gonna screen. sing and get a little closer. Lyrics, you okay. don't have to sing them. Are you okay. gonna help me or no? Uh, I'm gonna help you. I'll be your dirty nanny. <laughs> your dirty nanny for you, friend. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what else you could put on that track. Her moaning and groaning actually brought the song to a new level. Can you mix that up? We're just going to take a minute to hang. I'm not as aggressive. I'm not as out there as some of the women that are trying to get you. But I think that I'm worth holding on to, and I think I'm worth getting to know because... Gotcha. I'm sitting on the couch, and i got to be straight with you. I cannot keep my eyes off her breasts. I'm not stupid, and... I am very sexual, and I'm a fun girl when you get to know me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When I'm comfortable, I can have a great time. Gotcha. You know, uh -huh. and the thing is, 
Yes. Uh -huh. I may dress this way, I may look this way. I'm very sexual, but I'm not a slut. Okay. Those massive, lovely breasts are, are kind of clowning my thought process a little bit. No, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> We've divided into two groups pretty much in the house. We've got the bad girls, which are my girls. I've named ourselves the Varsity Club in the A-Team. Because the little JV squad don't have shit on us. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> Start putting these stickers on there. Yeah. So you just try to get me to the ground. Oh, are you Dawn, should we listen to that for just a minute? Yeah. I'm gonna need yeah. a little, little time to regroup. Hey now, get stoned, get naked, go home, make love on the floor all night. We got hot that cold December, and we got that cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Hey, baby, do you remember? Let me feel you for a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, baby, do you remember? Oh, hey, 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 and the A-team has one job today, and that's to get Aaron the hell out of here. We gotta make sure we time all this stuff yeah. as soon as he gets back. Because elimination's tonight, and if we don't get him before he yes. decides, then yeah, yeah, yeah. we could get screwed ourselves. So Heather heard something about Aaron being engaged, so we're like, okay, this is stuff Brett needs to know. Yeah, yeah. well, whatever, she's on blast now, fuck it. She's got a man, and uh, Brett's gonna know about it, so. <gasps> And with elimination coming up, I knew I needed to make a decision. And so I needed to talk to some of these girls again. Being in the studio, that's my favorite. Of everything I do, that's my, I, it was just, man, you should have been there. I just had trouble connecting with some girls here. The actual songs that we were recording with Don, th this guy Don was, does, he did, he's at the Rolling Stones, he did Bob Dylan, Bonnie Raitt, oh. every, every big hit record he's done. And he just is the most insane, cool, fun dude. Yeah, it was awesome. Here's the thing with Tamara. No connection and dumb as a box of rocks. Listen, the bottom line is, she's fucking hot. Let's just... It, 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 I'm figuring maybe after a little miscommunication, our bodies could just do the talking. Okay. Right. I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> Did you find me? Brett said I had strike three, so I feel like the cards are against me. I'm really kind of nervous. It, it turns out some girls here have boyfriends. Yeah. <gasps> Who? One of the girls at what? Is that a date um, with you guys? Was it Aaron? Aaron has a boyfriend? So we have an elimination tonight, and I'm finding out Aaron has a boyfriend. Aaron has, has a boyfriend, and we're telling him tonight. Good. Aaron is not here for Brett. She definitely needs to go home. Oh, I'll God. back you up. Hi. What's going on, hotness? How are you? There's kind of one thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Go and, ahead. And I don't want to be a rat. That's not a personality. Yes. But there's some people here I don't think they're here for you. Well, tell me. I need but to know this. But Aaron's supposed to get married in May. You're fucking kidding me. No. That's what I just heard. Erin, she has a fiancé back in Chicago. i got to admit, I was completely surprised. Wow. To be honest with you, man, I'm actually pretty pissed off about it's it. fucked I mean, up. Me too. And like, I'm like, I'm like, why, why, why be here? And I knew with eliminations coming up, it's time to get serious. I got to start weeding out the ones that aren't here for me. I'm glad we get to spend some time together. Me too. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. I'm a guy that reacts to something immediately. I don't keep it on my chest. I, you know, I don't keep it inside forever. Hey, Big John. Libra, can you do me a favor? Can you grab Aaron for me? I'm, I'm kind of pissed off right now. I need to ask her something right away, okay? Be right back. All right, thanks. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I said, I need to address this problem immediately. Hey, Aaron. What's it going on? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. 
to see you again. It's good to see you. Oh, here's the deal. I and, and, and I'm a pretty straight shooter, right? Two girls, both of them said that you have a really serious relationship and or married. You know, is this true or not true? Oh, hell no. Okay. I wouldn't be here right now if I was in one. I have an ex-boyfriend, an ex-fiance, and that's all I have. So obviously somebody is twisting my words and trying to get me eliminated because they see me as a threat. Somebody obviously saw me as competition and they're trying to jeopardize my time here and trying to get me kicked off. This is pissing me off now. Hey, Big this John. Just like, I don't understand. Gra do me a favor, grab Heather. I have a boyfriend grab Heather right for me yeah. right away. I hope that Brett is wise enough and can trust his own heart and see the difference between all this bullshit and reality. Heather, I addressed her that she has a boyfriend. Did you say that to me? Did my I did. I, I did say that to you and that I heard that she had a boyfriend was supposed to get married in May. We were supposed to get married. Mm -hmm. we, we broke up. I just have his best interest at heart. And oh, I'm, sure, she, two I'm different... sure that's what you're concerned about. Yeah, because I care about this guy and I feel a connection with him and the people that have you know, significant others should not be here. Here's the thing, on one side of me, I've got Aaron, who's vehemently denying that there is no fiance. On the other side of me is Heather, who's calling her a liar, and they're going back and forth. I gotta admit, fuck, this is driving me crazy. All right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. And with elimination coming up, I knew I needed to make a decision immediately, because uh, someone's going home tonight. right now it's elimination night and i know aaron deserves to be on our way but did i go too far i'm not sure tonight i hope brenda goes home brenda brandy damn brandy well i've been oh shit. i really want aaron to go home tonight she was fighting with me brett's thinking that she may or may not have a boyfriend if i were aaron i'd be worried Based on my interrogation from Brett, I am extremely nervous about tonight. I was feeling confident after our date today, but ever since this whole ex-fiance thing came up, I'm extremely nervous. Hello, girls. How you doing tonight? Good. Just want to uh, thank you all for being here with me. These last couple days have been absolutely awesome. I just want you to know this decision is hard, and it's just going to get harder. John, you want to hit me with the pass? This girl, once again, I feel a very, very strong connection to for, for many reasons. Rodeo, will you come down here, please? Brett says, Big John, hand me the VIP pass. And it was the first one. And it was for me. Will you stay in this house and continue to rock my world? Yes, I will. Awesome. John? The next girl here, I think there's a lot more I'm going to get to learn from this person. Jess, would you come down here? Would you stay here in the house and rock my world? I have felt very connected to this person. A lot of fun, great attitude. Lacey, would you come down here, please? So Brett calls my name, and I'm feeling really, really good. It makes me happy that he wants to keep me here. But at the same time, I knew he was going to call my name. Did you have a good time making music today? I had such a wonderful time. It was an awesome day. Would yes. you stay here and continue to I, rock my world? I would love to be. Mia, would you come down here, please? Would you stay in his house? I'd love to, yes. Awesome. Magdalena, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this house? Dallas, would you stay here in this house and rock my world? Yeah. The fact that Brett picked Dallas to stay here, I think I'm going to have to do something about this to get Dallas out of here. Hello, hotness. Hello. Would you stay here and rock my world? Of course. Brandy, my wild thing, when you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this big old rock and roll house? It's a fucking movie. That's awesome. Brandy, would you come down here, please? Would you stay in this house and rock my world? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Christia, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this house? Yes. All right, here we go. We're down to two passes left. This person helped me out tonight in a situation. I'd asked them, 
Heather, would you come down here, please? I considered Heather my friend, and I wanted Heather around. I think she was going to be a big help for me, and who knows, maybe me and her would be the ones that end up falling completely in love. How you doing, baby? They're trying to get rid of me, and I'm, I'm freaking out about it. I knew this was going to happen. I know I'm going home. You stay here in this house and rock my world. I'd love to. There's one pass left, and I hope that Brett is wise enough and can trust his own heart. All right, ladies, I got one pass left, and I got five girls. I want to get down to it right now. John, you want to give me the pass? Girls with boyfriends should not be here. I just hope Brett sees through it all and sends the right girls home. Before I tell you who this girl is, I just want to tell you who it isn't. Faith, I think you are stunning. I wish I would have got to spend more time with you. Faith, she didn't stand out in any way for me to get to know her, and just not enough connection. Tiffany started out not great. You know what I mean? Tiffany was a rock girl. She always told me, don't threaten me with a good time. But, you know, her third strike had come, and I just had to cut her loose. But Tawny? Tawny, I know she's a rock girl, and unfortunately, she got lost in the shuffle. Tamara, I am, I am so sorry. I just, I, I didn't connect. Tamara, for me, you talk about all the lights on and nobody home. What a fucking waste. Aaron, would you please come down here? What the fuck is this? He's keeping Aaron? This is such bullshit. Aaron is an airhead with circus tits. She needs to leave. Before you stay here in this house and rock my world. Yes. You promise you are not going to lie to me, right? I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to be straight. Yes. With Aaron, my heart said, what she's saying to me is the truth. This is the reason you give people second chances, because um, someone like her could turn out to be a great person. Will you stay here and rock my world? Yes, I will. I would love awesome. to. For the four girls that are going home, would you please come down here? All right. I'm really angry right now. I thought Brett was a real person, but obviously not because he's keeping girls who have boyfriends here who are engaged. I was upset that Tawny got picked. She was part of the A-team also, and I didn't think she'd be going home. He missed out on a very good person. He actually missed out on the person he could take home to mom. Bye. I don't want you to think it was easy for me to make that decision, okay? Yes, good luck. I'm too good for Brett, and what I'm looking for in a person is absolutely opposite of probably what he's looking for. Come here, beautiful girl. Bye. I think this is a good time for me to uh, make my exit. This is good. <laughs> Not bad. Although Brett was good too. Maybe. Not that I would know. Hey, Tamara, you gotta go out the front door. Maybe if I were smarter, then I'd be here longer. <laughs> and the correct pronunciation of my name is Tamara Brett. All right, for all of you who are staying in the house, you wanna come down here so we can get this party started? Yeah. All right. If it continues like this, where these catty bitches are trying to get rid of me, then I'm going to give them a dose of their own medicine. If they want me to play their game, I'll play their game. To all of us staying in this house, are we ready to rock this house? Yeah. Naked in the jacuzzi immediately. Yeah. Wait, come back here, you. Ready? Okay, turn around. Beat each other with it. Fight! Fight! Fuck it up! Oh, wait, we're gonna do our, our, rest, our wrestling. Oh, where? Hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it. Turn around. Oh. Did that hurt?